Aloha, it's Katie, and I'm a current sophomore at Cornell University in the College of Arts and Sciences. I haven't declared my major yet, but I'm leaning towards computer or information science, but I also want to do a minor in business and creative writing, so I'm all over the place. So I think we've got a good mix of courses that I took this semester. And if you want to know what courses I took in my freshman fall and spring semester, then I'll link it down below. I think it'll give you more context on the diversity of courses offered at Cornell. So this semester for me was actually really chill academics wise compared to my first semester. My first semester was very like CS engineering focus courses because I wanted to affiliate with a CS major and I currently can but then I just thought why am I rushing into this it's just my first year of college I'm supposed to be exploring this semester is where I explored another major that a lot of people have been telling me they can see a good fit for the information science which is something unique to Cornell so you have concentrations like UI UX data science interactive technologies law digital media culture and production so it's a very flexible major I've always been really interested in design, web development, app development, and that's what got me interested in computer science in the first place. For each course, I'll talk first about the summary, and then second, the workload and how the class was structured, and third, my final thoughts on it. If I'm looking down, it's because of my laptop. First course I took, Info 1300, Intro Design and Programming for the Web. The World Wide Web is both a technology and a pervasive and powerful resource in our society and culture. To build functional and effective websites, students need technical and design skills as well as analytical skills for understanding who is using the web, in what ways they are using it, and for what purposes. In this course, students develop skills in all three of these areas through the use of technologies such as HTML, cascading style sheets, CSS, and JavaScript. Students study how websites are deployed and used, usability issues on the web, user-centered design, and methods for visual layout and information architecture. Through the web, this course provides an introduction to the interdisciplinary field of information science. So this class meets two times a week. You have one discussion, and discussions are more classroom settings where you meet up with a teacher assistant. They lead the course. They lead some exercise with 15, 20 other students. So this more closely resembles your high school classroom. Lectures are just larger with 200, 300 students and the professor just talks at you. Workload is we had weekly labs or we had weekly assignments called labs. Supposedly you're able to finish it in within the lab discussion time. In terms of tests, the first project we designed a personal website. The second one, we designed a website for Apple Fest, which was a local festival here in Ithaca, New York, where Cornell is. Third is we chose one of the first two websites and then we implemented interactivity with JavaScript so we would add forms and these forms would indicate to the user whether they filled it in correctly so if they put an invalid email then the form would stop the user from being able to submit it and we just coded it in a way to ensure that the input from the user is valid. For our fourth project we chose a client so this could have been a club, an organization, a community, anyone with a need for a website and we worked through the design process with them, interviewing them, asking them what their needs were and then we would ideate a website solution to fit them. And the fun part about this was we worked in teams. We learned how to use GitHub and collaborative tools so people could work concurrently and we could get more stuff done. Very, very cool. For a final exam, we just had to design a website and walk through the design process that we were taught in class. Next course I took is CS2850 Networks. This interdisciplinary course examines network structures and how they matter in everyday life. This course examines how each of the computing, economic, sociological, and natural worlds are connected and how the structure of these connections affect each of these worlds. Tools of graph theory and game theory are taught and then used to analyze networks. Topics covered include the web, the small world phenomenon, markets, neural networks, contagion, search, and the evolution of networks. Like the description mentioned, this course is very interdisciplinary. It is offered in both the CS department, but also information science, sociology, and economics. So they're all the same course, but they're just different code names, depending on which major or department you're trying to fulfill. Fun fact, for CS majors, this course is considered a humanities course, but it just shows you that the level of this course is more structured like an engineering course with problem sets every week with exams where you should do calculations. This course meets three times a week for lectures. There are no discussions. You have weekly problem sets and you also do three blog posts where you connect some topic in networks to a real life current event. There is one prelim and one final. I also really love this course and I felt like it gave me such a good inside view into the world of the internet. But I guess as someone who has a personal brand, 
online, it was really cool to understand how Twitter determined which ads it would show to users and that was through auctions. And that's something I would always see on, you know, like when I monetize my videos, it's something I would see that they're determined by auctions, but I never knew what that meant. But now I understand how the auctions work and why they use that kind of auction to determine it. Just look it up, like Twitter ad auctions, and you'll be eye-opened. I also learned how Google ranked its website. So, you know, the page rank algorithm and how it's determined, and I've seen it work. Fun side story. So sometimes I'll randomly look up Katie Tracy, and I know, oh my gosh, it sounds really vain, but I'm just curious. I'm just curious if people search and what people search, and almost I don't know, like the number one thing that pops up is Katie Tracy Cornell LinkedIn. Add me on LinkedIn, by the way, it's it's Katie Tracy. This class is twice a week for lecture and once for discussion. There's weekly homework, two prelims, and one final. Overall, I took this class with Professor Packard and I was shook by how nice he was. He lets people submit homework anytime within the lecture. So, you know, some people are just gonna come late because I have to print my stuff. He lets people ask questions about the homework in the middle of the class we're supposed to submit it and he lets people change their answers so it's right honestly he is just so generous willing to help students he was like an angel genuinely such a nice soul and every time i went into class i would feel at peace funny story my ta one of our mutual friends had dared him or not dared him but like had told him to call me out in the middle of the class as a youtuber and i was just really lost because i was away for new york city trip with Forte. We went to visit Deloitte and Spotify and so I wasn't at discussion the week before and so the week I came back I was like what is going on because suddenly this TA was calling me out and I thought it was because I didn't show up the week before. Okay fourth class. EAS 1101 Climate and Energy. Most people alive today will face unprecedented challenges and opportunities at the intersection of climate change and global energy demand. These two issues are inextricably linked to each other and to virtually all global health and development grand challenges. Fundamentally, this course asks how we humans as a species found our way into the current bottleneck of climate and energy challenges and how we as a society might find solutions that guarantee future generations can enjoy a stable climate, a secure and nutritious food supply, and access to clean energy. Students learn the fundamental background that they will need to be an informed citizen on these timely and extremely important issues. This course meets twice a week for lecture, no discussion, there's weekly homework, one prelim, and one final on your own unlimited time. It's very chill. This course is known to be a great, like a GPA booster. The professors are very fun. It's taught by two professors. The first part is about the history of the earth and the second is modern day challenges and solutions to address them. And it's also really cool because they would talk a lot about Cornell specifically and our hydroelectric power plants, the initiatives we have in the future for reducing fossil fuels. And I learned a lot about Ithaca and its importance geographically and historically. So they would also send documents on Cornell's like energy goals, how they're achieving them. We had statistics on Cornell's like energy usage and how much energy to produce. So I thought that was also an eye-opening thing. So originally, those were all the courses I was planning to take this semester, but then being the workaholic that I am, and that's not necessarily a good thing, I was like, why don't we take two more courses? So I took AppDev's Intro to Product Design. Side note, AppDev is a project team at Cornell. It's a lot to explain, so just look at project teams. Intro to Digital Product Design is a course for anyone interested in UI UX and product design careers in digital experience. We move through an intensive workflow of an entire design process that you'd most likely see in design-driven companies like Airbnb, Facebook, Google, and more. In this course, you will learn how to ideate solutions for existing applications and execute thoughtful solutions with sketch, prototyping tools, and origami. This course meets once a week for lecture. There is one discussion section, but it's really called Crit Group for critique group and we get to small groups. Think of like three other people. We have a TA and every week you give each other feedback on your current design for whatever app you choose. I did mine on Spotify and I'll link my case study down below. Intern, intern right here. <laughs> there were weekly assignments and every week would build up a part of your case study until the end you would end up with your final product. This is a legit industry level course and there have been people who have never taken a design course before on totally different majors like chemistry and then they take this course and then they become product designers so it could be a very transformative course to take my friends are in it so plugging this course but it's really well structured side note if you do take this course they ask how did you hear about this course mention me because it will reach people who i actually know also if you are 
a college student looking for internships in design, there's actually a really helpful website called interns.design. The design lead of AppDev actually created, and I was talking to someone here in the Philippines who went to UBC, and she was talking about how she used that site. I will also link that down below. Last course, FDSC 1101, Science and Technology of Foods. This class is also known as the ice cream class because the main project is creating your own ice cream flavor. I got to go to the Cornell Dairy Bar land and produce this ice cream. I got to take home a free pint of ice cream at the end of it that I had created with my team. And we got to eat a lot of free samples in class. This course explores the application of science and technology to foods. Lectures elucidate the role of engineering, biotechnology, chemistry, biochemistry, nutrition, toxicology, and microbiology in supplying the world with safe and nutritious food. An overview of food science as a discipline and career choice is given. And yo, the winner of the ice cream project, by the way, will actually have their ice cream produced and sold at the Cornell Dairy Bar for a semester or two. Like we actually came up with pricing models for these. But yeah, this course is a very good introduction to food science. It's only one credit. I think it's the major requirement if you're interested in majoring food science. It's so chill though. You meet once a week for lecture, there's no discussion. There are weekly quizzes and there is one final, but they're again, take home like the environmental science class earlier. But this really opened my eyes to so many aspects. We went from world hunger to food packaging, to diseases, to kosher and halal food. So it just covered everything from the production process, but also the cultural aspect and the global challenge aspect. It was just always something new every class and I really enjoyed it. But the energy was just so different to all my other classes because I think freshmen when they come to college they're still like very enthusiastic, very there's like a lot of love for learning and you know the hardships of college haven't hit them yet. So it reminded me a lot of when I was a freshman. It was good because it reminded me how learning should be exciting. I really felt the difference that people were generally engaged with the class. The professor was hilarious and super friendly. Such a nice break from all my other classes. I really felt the love for learning again. I would recommend taking this with your friends. Those were all the courses I took this semester. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out my other ones. Down below, I also have all the helpful links I mentioned in the description. Follow me on social media at LoaKDX. I am going to try my social media again. I'm also hosting Hosting an Instax mini Polaroid giveaway on my Instagram and Twitter, so check those out. I upload new videos every week. Please subscribe. I am hustling as a student, and 2020 has a lot of good stuff in store that I have been thinking about while I've been retreating from social media. But I'm back now. Happy New Year, and best of luck with college this year. So see you next week with another new video. Bye.